Welcome to Eucanic. Today on Eucanic, we're going to go over the process it would be to, say, remove the steering, electronic assist steering module and the whole unit. And this is how you would remove it to replace it because something has gone bad in the sensing inside there. So this vehicle, this is a Mercedes GLA, and it has an electronic assist. assist. So as you turn the steering wheel, you can see that, that shaft there moving. As you turn the steering wheel, it has a sensor that picks up that you're steering and it will assist your steering. So it's like power steering, but there's no hydraulics for this power steering. It's electronic. Well, electronics can sometimes go bad, and so you may need to just replace the whole module or replace individual pieces. But the way you get that out is, um, or at least the way I've figured out to do it, is to be able, you've got to take pieces off and I drop the whole um, cross member, the front cross member, and I will go over this process with you in this video. So a good place to start, you're inside the cab of your GLA Mercedes, right? And this will be on most, probably be pretty same, pretty much the same on most of the vehicles that would be um, electronic access, assist. But this is a Mercedes GLA. So this Mercedes GLA, there was a little plastic piece right here you would remove. And you go ahead and remove this cover. And what this cover does is gives you access to a bolt that's right here that you're going to want to loosen. And you'll loosen this bolt, and that bolt runs through there. And then we'll take that off, and you can see this, this arm here. And this is what turns when you turn the steering wheel back and forth. And so you're going to want a 13 millimeter wrench. So you take a 13 millimeter wrench. And this is already previously loosened, but you loosen this completely and pull it out. And then you can just pull this up and off. And you see this little indent? That's where the bolt goes through to keep it in there. And you would go ahead and pull that off and remove it to be able to go down under the bottom and do what you need to do. But this one has, this one's been already replaced, so let's just go ahead and put that back in. So if you, after you put everything back in, either way, we would just remove it, set it to the side, because as we drop the bottom, this will need to be able to fall out so that you can move this whole unit out to the side. And then when you put the new one back in, or your replacement, do the same option. Put it back on and make sure that this bolt goes through all the way and starts and that it has gone through that indent. all been tightened up and then you can go ahead put this cover back in there's a little tab over here push it to that side and you've got another plastic tab on this side you just want to get in in there to lock in and then just push it in like that and that's all so we've tightened the bolt up in there after putting the new one back in and then we've gone ahead and put that cover back into place. And that's how you would do that. So I'm gonna to try to give you the best overview and discussion of how you would drop this cross member out and to be able to get enough space to remove this unit. This is the unit that we were, that we, to replace if you can't get any other things to work on your electric, so this is electric assist uh, steering module right so to replace to get this completely off you'd need to take that bolt off up top that I was discussing about you would undo these three electrics um, you would undo these three well this one actually doesn't need to it's all connected to the unit 
but you definitely undo this electric and this electric, a bigger connector up here, and these are just two pins that come in here. And you would just undo those electrics, and then you've got three bolts, one here, here, and they're all in picture too, and we'll have arrows on them to show you where they're at. And there's another one over here. And these bolts, these bolts are long bolts that go all the way through. They're size um, 13 on both sides. And so if you use a 13 socket on the bottom and a 13 wrench on the top, you'll have to reach up right through here and you would loosen them and drop them out. Um, this has already been replaced and I've already put the bolts back in so really just gonna go through the process of tightening them up the moment and that's how you do it. But these three need to be removed so that you can remove this whole thing and that bolt up top. And so once you've done, uh, that's in the, um, at the bottom of your feet in the driver's side and you remove these three bolts and then this unit and all the electronics is is ready to move but you don't have enough space and so to get that space you need to drop this whole cross member and so to drop this cross member back over here at the back of it you would have to remove some cover plates here and so you pull some cover plates and pull this out and so anyway, you pull some cover plates and bolts out to be able to get access to these. You've got three size 16 bolts here, two over there, one over here. Same on this other side, back under here. It's the same set, same setup on both sides. Um, they're back there. So you would need to remove those, and you remove these, and then um, that gives those back bolts undone. There's also a bolt right in here that you would loosen to be able to drop it down. You loosen and remove that bolt. And there's another one identical to that on the other side. They're pretty much, is, it's going to be symmetrical, this side, this side, for all that. Another thing that you would need to do uh, to be able to drop it down is you would want to remove these bolts that hold That are part of the catalytic converter bracket. They're 13 millimeter nuts And you just loosen them off and then when you drop it down It'll drop down and your catalytic converter will stay in place and there's one on both sides you just need to remove them Right here you've got two bolts and these are an engine mount for the bottom probably it's called the dog bone a lot of times but you remove these bolts also to be able to let let it drop down and there that's all the main bolts on the back except for there are a bolt straight up through here it goes all the way up. I'll get a better picture on the side here shortly, but you've got one on both sides that you need to remove to be able to let this A-frame or the, the cross member drop down. And then there's two number 10 bolts right here on this side and two number 10s here to remove this um, aluminum control piece here to be able to, for the whole A-frame to drop down, or the whole cross beam. So you remove these two and these two. Got the same on the other side. The difference on the other side, so, and of course you'll have to remove whatever you need to to be able to get some access to pull this back. But the other thing on this side is you've got one extra bolt right there that you would undo, that this is a, a reservoir, but you need to undo that bolt along with the, the standard four, just like the other side that you would remove. Oh 
right? So these standard, there's two here and the other two on the front. It's just like the other side was, except that this side has a reservoir bolt that you would remove, and then this whole piece will, will drop out. And then you may not need to, un, to undo these, but I did, and I found it just, just as easy and these are part of the sway bar and this is the sway link the control um, sway bar linkage to connect to the suspension but i just undid this bolt the thing the way to undo this though is you're going to need an 18 to put on here and you're going to need an 8 to put on there onto the other side to be able to hold it otherwise this thing's just going to keep on spinning and if that keeps on spinning you're never going to get anything done so you're going to need to put the 18 on here and you're going to put the 8 on there to hold it in place and then you'll be able to loosen it and, and remove it and then just remove that whole unit and then that way you'll get some extra um, drop down. It'd be the same method, you follow this method to drop this A-frame if you were going to go ahead and replace the sway bar for any reason. Um, but. I just find this easy to just do that. You may not necessarily need to, but it, it, it'll help. So another thing that you're going to need to remove, to be able to remove this whole steering um, mechanism, the, the whole thing, and we've talked about how you would drop the whole um, A-frame, and this is the bolt I was talking about that you need to remove over here that you go through this hole here. Just put an extension through with an 11 millimeter up here and, and put it down there and you'll be able to tighten, or I mean loosen this one and pull it all the way out so that it'll drop down. Once you've removed all that, it will drop down. You're gonna wanna keep it supported with a jack so it doesn't just fall on you and you can drop it down and what will hold it in place is the lower ball joint you know it's not going to fall completely down you've had your vehicle supported up on a jack up on jacks and jack stands and anyway so it doesn't fall on you but you also will want to put a jack a floor jack or bottle jack under there to be able to lower this down smoothly but another thing you're going to need to undo is this um, control arm joint here so the same, kind of the same as that control link for the sway bar, but this is gonna be a 21. So you're gonna put a 21 on here, and you're gonna put a 10 on top here to be able to loosen and to tighten this. Otherwise, it can continue to just spin completely down here, and this is all sealed with, with uh, grease inside there. And, uh, So it's all sealed inside there, but yep. so you would use 21 to loosen this and or tighten it. So you would loosen it, but say you loosen it and it's not coming undone, you may want to use a, a puller tool, something like this, where you can get it on this, on that side. So you open it up and you would tighten this down. So you use a wrench around here to tighten it. You get those locking teeth to grab in there. See? The, the teeth down here at the bottom, they're gonna grab and you're gonna tighten uh, with your wrench up top here or a, this one accepts a ratchet end and you can go ahead and use your ratchet and you'll pull it until it pops this down to pop it free. Uh, it'd probably be easy to do this before you go ahead and remove everything else and then that way you're not trying to do this while everything else is loose. But you just go ahead and, and loosen that, pop that down and that gives that free and then just take this whole nut completely off and then you can remove and drop this away and then this whole unit is when you will pull it out 
remove that on both sides, drop the whole control arm down with all those bolts. There's going to be, there will be lots of pictures and a word diagram of how to do that and the wrench sizes. But when you've gone ahead and removed that, this is what it should look like if you take it all out completely like that as one whole unit. You could, if you want, you could take this off right here um, and then you wouldn't have to worry about removing this at the same time as one full unit. But you're going to take it all down. And like I said, I, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you a picture of what it looks like when it's completely removed from the vehicle. So this is the unit completely removed and we've got both of uh, the um, sway, uh, control arms left on and this is the motor unit that can potentially go bad or some of the electrics inside here. And this is that shaft that comes up into the engine bay, or not into the engine bay, into the cab. So this is the shaft that comes in the cab where that bolt goes through and holds this in. And you put that uh, controlled by the steering wheel. You put that sleeve over it, run that bolt through there, snug it up. But this is what you have to do to be able to drop it out. And that's how you remove it. And just to, um, to put it back in, you do everything back in reverse order. And that's, that's the way you do it. Thanks for watching.